Siri, translate scrum into French. In French, scrum is mili. Hey guys, it's your girl Emmy, and today I'm going to be translating IT scrum terminology to waterfall for you guys. So if you are a waterfall trained PM and you're looking to move into agile or better understand scrum and what scrum is all about as one of the more common agile frameworks, then go ahead, smash the like button on this video, subscribe, join our network of fellow project managers, product managers, people who are just interested in the project management field and improving ourselves and our careers. And let's go ahead and get started. First scrum terminology that I have for you. This is jargon. This is, you know, words that are used and I'm going to translate it. Don't you worry, both into a waterfall term and also just like I'm going to explain what it means. The first one is scrum itself. So you might hear people if you work with someone who uses scrum, maybe you see it on TV or somewhere else. People will say, I have to go join Scrum. Scrum basically is their daily standup. That's what this would be in waterfall methodology. It's just essentially, if I choose to set up a daily standup, that's what this is, where everyone on the entire team comes together to talk about what they're gonna do in the next 24 hours, any quick updates, and really focus on if they have any issues or if they're blocked. Generally, these are 15 minute meetings, very brief, very quick, and it's really just to get the whole team together and understand what everyone is going to go execute on really in that 24 hours. I definitely did this in my waterfall days. I will say in general, I only did it if if it was needed. So if we could only have like a weekly meeting, I generally prefer that. I don't like to bother people and add extra meetings to their calendar. Times personally, I can find this disruptive. However, on the development side, I think it can be very helpful because it sort of pushes things forward without letting things lag too long. So really, I think this is actually a helpful daily meeting to have, but that's essentially all it is. So if you ever hear someone say, hey, can you please set up Scrum? Or I think we should have a daily Scrum. That's what they're talking about. The second Scrum Agile jargon that I hear a lot, and this one honestly makes me chuckle, is ceremonies. They talk a lot about how there are four or five, depending on who you ask, Scrum ceremonies that have to happen. And I'll tell you what they are, and then let's see if you guys can guess what ceremonies means. They are sprint planning, daily Scrum, sprint review, sprint retrospective, and then depending on you on who you ask backlog refinement, which is a continuous process. If you manage to figure out based on that, essentially ceremonies is the agile word for meetings. And I thought this was so funny when someone was like mentioning to me that their expectation of their job as a scrum master was to hold the ceremonies. And I was like, oh, ceremonies, ceremonies. Like, like what ceremonies are, you, are we talking about? Like, is there a graduation that I didn't know about? But like really they just mean the meetings they mean facilitating meetings don't get tripped up by this one that's why i'm here to help you guys figure out how you can help translate these jargons into general understanding by everyone so if you hear someone say a ceremony or talk about sprint planning or sprint review or sprint retrospective that's what they're talking about and this brings me to my next piece of jargon is you might hear people talk about sprints so a sprint is essentially a fixed period of time in which there's an expectation for a body of work to get done the sum of that that body of work is supposed to be a value add and an actual deliverable that can be, I mean, from the product perspective, put into production. But if you guys want to let me know if you agree with that down in the comments, I'm happy to hear your thoughts. Essentially, you're basically just defining a period of time within which all the work has to get done. Agile, that period of work for the sprint has to be less than a month. And this is where it differs a little bit from my waterfall days. I'll say in my waterfall days, first and foremost, we called this a bucket. Like essentially, if we were doing execution phase, we would bucket all the work. So it's not as if the idea of having sprints is new or not something we did in Waterfall. I think the difference is one, a little bit the expectations for that work and two, the time frame. The time frame I think is really what's different because the buckets that I would create in my project plans could be longer than a month, sometimes six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, because I was managing very, very, very long term projects, think two or three years. 
frames. On average, most of the sprint time frames that I see is usually two weeks. So I don't see sprints that are month long. I see usually one to two week sprints. And I'd be really curious for those of you who are working in an agile, what do you guys typically see as your own sprint lengths? All right, the next jargon that I have for you guys that came from agile, and yes, there is a waterfall equivalent is Sprint retrospective. Sprint retrospective, I think it seems pretty reasonable based on the name, you can probably guess what this is. This is essentially a meeting that's held at the end of every sprint to bring the team together and get feedback from them on what worked well, what didn't work well, what are some changes that have to be implemented in order to help the team work better in the future. In the waterfall methodology, if you're PMP certified, to me, this is what I would call lessons learned. Now, there is a difference. We usually do lessons learned at the end of a project to try to understand sort of what could have been done differently. Scrum, they actually ask for that feedback after every sprint. To me, that's a great change of pace. It allows for consistent feedback and the opportunity to consistently adjust or tweak how you're approaching the work to get more out of your team. And the last agile IT project management term that I'm going to translate for you guys into Waterfall is Scrum Master. Who is the Scrum Master? What do they do? And sort of what are their expectations? Scrum Master is essentially, at the end of the day, the agile equivalent to a project manager. The difference is that they are probably project managing using a specific framework and a specific style of working, which in this case is going to be agile based. And so that could be things like Scrum or Kanban or any other type of agile framework. If someone introduces them as a themselves as a scrum master, don't get put off by that or confused as to what it is they're doing. They are a PM. In some of the agile organizations I've worked for, the expectations of what a scrum master does can vary. So you may want to get some more input around, hey, what exactly are they here to do? Are they a master of ceremonies, aka a meeting facilitator, or are they actually doing more of that long-term planning and foresight? Are they thinking about resourcing? Are they managing a budget? Things like that, that that a waterfall PM would be doing. Well, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this rendition of me translating for you guys IT agile terminology into waterfall and helping you guys understand if you are in the waterfall space and looking to transition into agile, what all the jargon means, really breaking it down to the basic level so everyone can understand. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.